Hi and welcome Aries, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your April 2021 tarot forecast. Now it is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. You'll get more great content from me. For those that regularly follow my channel, you're rocking awesome. Love your support. And a big shout out, happy birthday to all of you having birthdays this month. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful celebration. And now, if you would like to get the extended version of this reading, you can jump straight into it right now. You get the predictions that we're about to go through. You also get uh, higher guidance in terms of general energies around whatever comes out in the predictions. We're also going to be doing a love forecast for the month as well as higher guidance from spirits. So the easiest way to get that is to hit the join button or the very first link in the, in the description box below. Yeah, there's a small monthly fee and you also get the mid-monthly as well. It's like getting two personal readings from me every month in terms in terms of extended readings so go check that out and if you'd like to stay connected with me i'm on instagram come and say hi do a lot of daily motivation inspiration over there fitness health tips recipes so uh, if you're on instagram i'll pop my uh, instagram handle on here come say hi yeah and if you'd like to get a personal reading they are open i only do them a couple of days a week so it's pretty much first in first serve they're deeply transformational answer the questions you'd most like answered i do an akashic record check of your past life information meditate on your current energies we go right into chakra balance any places that you're feeling a little bit stuck in life as well as high guidance from spirit so i'll pop that link up here as well as booking info down below let's get started with your reading aries and uh we're going to dive straight into predictions with the beautiful angel wisdom tarot let's see what you need to know uh, you're the page of fire and it pretends to an exciting new opportunity coming towards you most likely related to your career uh, something very passionate about Lining with your passions. Oh, this is kind of interesting. You got the seven of air, and there's uh, someone running off with all the swords. So just watch the intentions of others, others around you. It can pretend to manipulation, deception. Uh, watch your finances. Uh, they've all got their back turned, yeah, while somebody's running off with the swords. Mm hmm. And you've also got transformation, yeah. Very much whenever a transformation card comes out, we're either going through a significant life event or there's a feeling that you need to change within deep within self. Um, often it's about releasing old ways of being, habits, ways of thinking. Always leads to personal growth. You've also got the king of air and he's a little bit, dare I say, a little bit jaded. Uh, it can represent self being a little bit closed off emotionally, particularly in relationships. It can be someone you're dealing with, yeah, in terms of relationships. Um, can also uh, relate to, I mean, it is a king, yeah, someone being very impartial, practical. Wow, this is super interesting. You've also got the justice card. The very first thing it says is it be impartial, yeah? Um, you may be going through something in the legal system that you're waiting for a result on. Uh, it's also about standing up for yourself when you align with your own values, your own integrity, whatever happens, particularly if there's some sort of deception going on, yeah? Karmic justice will always come into play. Okay, that's flying out. <laughs> Uh, you've got another king here, which is the king of earth. And it's very much about planning and strategizing for the future before you take the next steps, getting a very clear path forward. You can also represent a guardian angel watching over you. You've also got the awakening, which um, is hanging upside down, yeah, which is very much looking at things from a different perspective. Um, you may get more clarity about a situation. It's sitting directly under the guy that's running off with all the swords. So you may be getting a bit of an awakening to possibly an unwise choice you've made or you've put your belief in someone when you shouldn't have. You've got the beautiful strength card here, which means you've got great inner strength. It's relying on that strength, particularly those of you going through significant life changes, transformation. And you've got the four of fire. This is where you're leading to, yeah? Beautiful energy. Time of celebration. There's a gorgeous home in the background, a beautiful couple. 
um, you know, in this beautiful dance, this embrace, speaks very much to peace and prosperity coming towards you. What else does Aries need to know? Mm, you got the ego, which is very much about a self-imposed uh, feeling of being stuck, yeah? A little bit illusionary. Um, he's cutting through the chains that are around her wrists, so, which means you can cut through them at any time. If you're feeling stuck, it's really got to examine why you're feeling stuck. Always to do with our emotions, our mindset, the way we're looking at things, yeah? So there's kind of some contrasting energies going on here. There's some, dare I say, a few negatives coming through in terms of how you're possibly looking at life. There may have been something that was out of your control where you made an unwise choice, hasn't turned out how you hoped. Um, there's quite a bit of transformation going on, but there's also some beautiful, I mean, you've got a, a brand new career opportunity coming in. It definitely speaks to a shift in energy. You've just got to do some planning about your next steps, having a clear step forward, yeah. Relying on your strength, knowing that this prosperity, this renewal of peace is coming towards you. All right, let's put you some guidance with the beautiful Muse Tarot. Mm, you got the six of emotions. Yeah, it's kind of got her inner child sitting in the circle there, which is looking on the past, reflecting on the past, possibly. Um... She's a little bit tinged in sadness, so you may be getting stuck in things that have happened in childhood right through, particularly with family. Um, you may be romanticizing the past and spirit saying you need to bring yourself back to the present. You can also change how you think about memories and things like that, um, put a more positive spin on them, look at them in a light of how much strength they've given you. Mm. It's super interesting. When I was shuffling this, I was just about to say some of you are focusing on the negatives versus the positives in your life. You've got the five of materials. There's a lot of dark energy there. She's laying on the ground in fetal position, yeah, all curled up, feeling hopeless. And yet behind her there is a doorway, beautiful roses above it. So um, it's sitting directly under the awakening, which is looking at things from a different perspective. Lift yourself up. Those of you feeling that way, I don't think you all are, just a few of you. You've also got the three of emotions. Um, it can pretend to friendships. It can pretend to third-party situations. Um, she's holding a globe in her hand. There's a lot of watery energy. Getting in touch with your emotions, facing your emotions, dealing with your emotions, yeah. And you've got the page of inspiration, beautiful inspired ideas coming to you directly from spirit. Uh, there's a lot of creativity here, trusting your creativity. And you've got the world, yeah, which is very much about cycle completions. Success, achievement, your hard work paying off, brand new starts in life, brand new cycles starting. I'll ask you some angel healing messages. What is it Aries needs to know at this time? Some of you really need to lift your vibration. Wow, you've pulled transformation again. Through great love that holds you in its embrace, you are moment by moment transforming to an ever greater light, ever greater oneness and ever greater wisdom. You've also pulled the unknown. It says, do not fear the unknown. It is a time of deep exploration and transformation. Third message, just in your predictions about transformation. Unfamiliar territory leads to new horizons. And you've also put sacred knowledge. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Feel the peace within. Beyond your thoughts lies your eternal truth. The I am presence of eternal love which is very much about listening to yourself, trusting yourself. Now let's pull you some guidance from the beautiful Divine Circus Oracle. Mm. You've pulled out of darkness. Have a look at the image on that. So beautiful. 
why do I feel it's going to be like the most perfect message? It says Aries, something that's been troubling you, something dark within you or in your life is about to become something else. You won't see it coming, but when the time is right, out of darkness will come new life. A seed of new life is growing and perhaps you cannot see it or feel it because the seed begins its journey to new life in the darkness, hidden away from sight and away from light. This seed is destined to bring new life to a situation that might have seemed to be dying, a fresh perspective to a stale problem. And when the time is right, which is fast approaching, the seed will push through, rise up and reveal itself. It will no longer just be a seed, but a shoot that will grow into a plant that can then flower and bear fruit. It is not a question of whether or not it's going to happen. It is going to happen. It's just a matter of time. And whatever struggle or challenge in life or in your heart right now, trust it's going to work out. Not only that, but the very thing that seems to be the darkest in your life, the most troublesome, is actually going to bring, what, bring forth a beautiful gift of new life. And in a strange way, it's actually trying to help you. It's assisting you in being ready to receive and experience new life with something new to be born in you and in your life. It might be the realization of your own inner strength, your courage, your development of belief in yourself, confidence to trust your instincts or some other gift yet to be understood. In time, you'll see that those gifts developed in order to get through the darkness, helped you step out of the darkness and into a whole new life. And soon there will be an opportunity and even a blessing hidden in the troubles of your past, just waiting for the right time to transform itself into light and life. And there's a healing ritual here. Um, it says to crouch down into a little ball or lie down, curled up as small as you can be, and then say, you can just visualize this, yeah? The seed starts very small and in darkness. And then slowly as you can, allow your spine to straighten as you uncurl yourself, eventually rising up, standing up, legs straight, arms open, head up, shoulders back, chest feeling open rather than concave. And say, the seed grows into a strong, healthy plant. It brings forth new life in perfect time and in the perfect way. Still standing, one hand on your heart, say, I am loved and protected by the universe as the darkness holds the seed of new life safe until the moment for birth is upon it. New life rises up through me. I rise, I rise, I rise. Um, most perfect guidance for you at this time. Absolutely. And uh, for those of you watching the free reading, those are your messages for April 2021. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the uh, subscribe button, the like button, leave your comments below. I'm always in there answering, answering your comments as well. And uh, in terms of we're going to go into the extended reading, um, there's a big, big focus yeah, on transformation. Certainly this energy of coming out of these stuck states that some of you are in, yeah. Um, and there's this beautiful celebration coming towards you in terms of peace and prosperity. So the general energies will focus on those as well as uh, we're going to go straight into love for singles, couples, someone you're thinking about, as well as um, high guidance from spirit. So all, remember all you need to do is hit the join button to get the extended or the very first link in the video description box below. If you feel like you need a personal reading, reach out, come say hi. And uh, for those of you that are VIP members or wanting to get the extended, hang around. We're going into that next.